They said it was lasting running towards Stadium Drive. Why did you just run behind the firehouse? All right, we're responding to a possible robbery either just occurred or that was in progress. Copy. A male tried to rob somebody or the business, and there was two males chasing the possible suspect. Once we get on scene, we can set up a perimeter and try to get a canine track going as long as we can establish that it was an attempted robbery. Copy. Get a description real quick and get it out. What's he wearing? What's he wearing? What's he wearing? He's shirtless now and he's got what color pants? Brown. Light brownish, light tech khaki. White male, black male? Black. Okay. Average male. Bright red shoes. Okay. And what exactly happened? What did he just grab the money from the tip job? Only half a dollar said he just got a house Yep. Our drinks were too much, so he asked for a glass of water, got some water, waited till I left the front, and both of us were in back. We have a big red tip jar for now. Came around, I saw him swipe it and leave. We kept yelling, stop, stop, stop. He wouldn't stop, so we hauled butt. He went around this way, so I thought that's it. I went that way, tapped him. Okay. Took him out with the fences and all this little uh, garbage stuff. He came in behind me. We were both on him, but he kept going. All right, what we're getting is he stole the tip jar. It sounds like he probably intentionally came in here to do so. Um, I think they're working to establish if we actually have some sort of push a burglary or, or what they got here. So we're gonna kick the dog out. We had uh, one of the witnesses state that he saw him go over the fence. So we're gonna put the we're gonna put the dog on the inside of the fence and try to work him that way. Hey, are you good with what we got? I'm good with that. OK. He went in there with only a dollar. He obviously couldn't purchase anything, so it sounded like he had the intent to steal. So go with the burglary. The dude at the gym said he jumped over this steel fence uh -huh. and was running that way. OK. Let's track him up. Hey, guys, did you see someone run by here about a Six minutes ago. Did you see somebody run by here without a shirt? Yeah, I went that way. Which way, that way? Yeah. Okay, she said yes. Check him up. Hey, I'm gonna let him know. Yep, check. PD3 by dispatch, we're gonna be tracking. We are heading north from the rear of the uh, original location at the dog place. We just had a witness that also say he was running north from 759 through the parking lot. Correct. Hey, right here. I heard it. Hey, were y'all coming down here? We actually were working that corner up there. Okay. Hey, so when I came down here. He was already on the sidewalk right here. Uh, no shoes, no shirt. He tried, he tried to go in this gate right here, and I cut him off right here and, and stopped him. So y'all are, are close, y'all are on it. OK. So our relationship is a little bit of a troubled one. He went to jail last night for theft and resisting without. I ended up tasing him twice yesterday and then tackling him. Hey, Edwards, you, what were his priors? How many prior thefts? Uh, uh, T felony. felony. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. I charged. I charged him with felony out, last night. Good. Like six different charges. Yeah. He was um, the suspect caught and arrested yesterday with a stolen wallet. Apparently, he's got multiple priors for theft. So even though this is a petty theft for the amount taken, it's automatically a felony because of his priors. They're going to revoke his bond for his other felony that he's open on. So theoretically, he should not be getting out tonight, and then he'll probably stay in stay in jail until uh, both of his trials come up for both these unrelated thefts. Yeah. which are both felonies.